fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Soto Kamen Rider Geats ID1 and Soto Kamen Rider Revice. In the last few years we've seen that the first set for a new show is usually about half for the new show and half for the previous show as they're kind of finishing up some stuff. This year is no exception. If we go ahead and open this box up here we can kind of see the case breakdown. So we'll start diving into these. So our first set here is for Kamen Rider Geats Magnum Boost form. So you have a box A and a box B, and that is the one duplicate we get. So everything else is uh, singular and new, but we do get one duplicate set of Magnum Boost. Now, they're not showing us here on the front of the boxes what's actually in each half, which they used to do. I don't know if that's something going forward they're not going to do or if it's just for this set. But I don't know how this is going to break down. So I don't know if Magnum is in this side and Boost is in this side or if it's kind of like the body and the armor or something like that. Uh, but it might work out to have an extra set for Boost and Magnum. Because you can kind of mix and match. Other people have used both of them. So you can see over here that you can kind of mix and match. So it might be fun to have two people using Boost at the same time. Or two people using Magnum. So you do get some extras. Might be advantageous to have those. Uh, the next set here is for Geats Rays. I'm sorry. This is the Geats Entry Rays form. So basically this is just when they first start out. They don't have any buckles attached or anything like that. So this is just Geats Entry form. Next up is Tycoon's entry form. But like I said, we can give him uh, some of the other sets. Like we can give him... See, this has the like green sash on his leg. So if I have that extra set, I can make a boost that's specific for him. So like I said, it might be advantageous to have an extra set of those. Uh, next, we're getting into the Revi's half of this box. And we are getting Ultimate Revi. And I should probably be showing off the back of these boxes here. Next up we have Ultimate Vice. And then last up we have Juga. So very much centered on the very end of Revice here. Finishing some stuff up. Sneaking into ID1 for Geats. But it looks like a pretty great lineup. Honestly, I think everything in this box is going to be really exciting and fun to put together. So I'm going to go ahead, jump into it, get these things put together and stickered up, and then we'll take a closer look. Here is Soto ID 1 fully assembled and stickered up, and let me just say that the Revice side of this box was very sticker intensive. Uh, the Geats side wasn't too bad. We'll start over here with Geats, Magnum Boost. I'll go ahead and take him off the stand. Uh, all of these guys come with the same stand. You have a sticker here for the name, and then you have a ball joint here for the stand, and then you have a hinge as well. You have some spots on the side to store items, some spots to store extra hands and whatnot. Uh, pretty much typical base that we've been getting. Some holes on the bottom so you can stack them on top of each other by pegging them in. Uh, also, you have a peg hole if you want to stand the figure that way, and they also have the clips so if you want to kind of honeycomb them together. That works as well. But like I said, pretty much the standard stand we've been getting for a while now, but they're really good. I like them a lot. So let's take a look at Geet's Magnum Boost. Really, really nice. I think this looks really, really good. You can see here we have the Magnum Shooter in rifle mode. Now this did not actually come with the first box. I believe this came with the entry form, which we'll get to in a minute. But I just wanted to give it to him here. And I have one of the hands here like he's grabbing onto the uh, boost buckle. So you have the little exhaust pipes here. These were kind of interesting to put stickers on. It's one large sticker that wraps all the way around. Uh, stickers down here for the ankles. The knees are painted with the exception of this gray sticker here. You have some stickers here on the side of the leg. Uh, I think this was uh, painted, just the white is a sticker. Obviously we have stickers for the driver. This was one big sticker across the whole thing. Uh, stickers around for the belt. And then most of this was painted. Uh, you can see that there is a sticker here on the inside of the bicep. A red sticker here on the shoulders. I believe the chest was fully painted. Uh, this around the side here is a sticker. You have a little bit of a sticker here for the scarf. Now the eyes did come painted red, but if you want the compound look, they did include stickers. So I went ahead and put them on. And I believe the mouth here was fully painted as well as the helmet. These little stickers here on the side, those are stickers right there. Uh, but yeah, really, really looks good. Articulation pretty standard for Soto figures at this point. Uh, you have the head on a ball joint, so you can spin that all around. 
look up really far, look down pretty far. You can even tilt side to side a little bit. You have that uh, joint here. They kind of considered a butterfly joint, but really all it is is there's kind of a channel here. And then when you peg the uh, shoulder peg into it, it can kind of move around in that space, which gives you kind of a butterfly joint there. You have a hinge. You have a bicep swivel. You have 90 degrees, maybe slightly over 90 degrees there in the elbow. And then you have the hands actually on a ball joint. So if you have them pushed all the way in, they'll pretty much just spin side to side. But if you pull them out just a little bit, you can take advantage of that ball joint there. Now with Magnum, he also has these little guns on the side and how these work because they do flip out on the show. And it's a little difficult to get uh, in here to get this out because they just kind of peg in. Let me see. All right, let me see if I can use my tweezers here to get these out. They are a little difficult if you have them pegged all the way in. They're a little difficult to get out of there again. Uh, but let's see. I really don't want to. There we go. Okay, so once you get that unpegged, you can just flip it around and peg it in the same way. And then that way it's simulating. The guns don't actually flip out like on the show, but you just unpeg them and then peg them back in the other way. And that way he has the little guns there on the wrists. So you just take that out, flip it back around, and peg that back in. And I'll probably never get that out again. Uh, let's take a look at the Magnum Shooter 40X. Quite a few stickers on here, but I think it came out really good. Uh, sticker here. I think this is all one sticker. You have a sticker right here. One sticker there. Sticker there. Uh, you can see that, unfortunately, my sticker is not peeling, but I've kind of... There we go. Just push it back down. And you can see that there's one on the side, and then there's one, and then it wraps around to the top as well. And then you have stickers on the other side as well. So I think it came out good. Now, unfortunately, this one does not have the peg. Uh, there's going to be, I think, a future one that will be able to peg in the handgun mode sized one. So unfortunately... Although there might be a piece, actually, that will peg into that, that then you can then peg it into the belt. I think that might be coming in a future set. I'm not 100% sure about that. But either way, I think that gun looks really good. So just all in all, I think this works really well. Uh, we have a waist swivel, of course, because, of course, you can just pop these off. You can spin the driver around if you want. Obviously, you can't switch the forms. And I know that they're doing uh, Boost Magnum the other way in ID2. But you can't actually switch these. So when you have a Magnum form like this as a torso, it's always going to be for the torso. You can switch them around with the figures, which we'll check out in a minute. Uh, but you can't actually like make this into legs. So just something to be aware of there. Of course, you have a ball joint in the hip. You have a thigh swivel. Now, the way these work, uh, they kind of have, like, if you push it all the way up, it really fills the gap, which is nice. But then you can't just naturally uh, put it into, like, a sitting pose so you kind of have to pull the thigh down a little bit so that then you can get clearance and then you can go ahead and do that and that's how they were with the revise as well nice bend there at the knee and then you have a ankle joint or ankle ball joint i should say you can see you have tilt out to the side a little bit of up and down but nice movement there as well so really great figures i think they look good oh i forgot about the scarf you can actually there's a ball joint here for the scarf as well and you can rotate that around because it has kind of like a little notch out. And then you can rotate this whole... You can actually unpeg this completely if you want. But yeah, it's a good looking figure. I think they did a really nice job. Stickers weren't too bad. Um, the driver was a little difficult. Just kind of making sure because there's a lot of different levels to it. Especially the handle down here for boost. But yeah, for the most part, uh, I guess the little exhaust <laughs> ports here were a little difficult as well. But for the most part... Stickers were not too difficult, and it's a good-looking figure. So, like I said, we'll get to the switching around in a moment, uh, but first I want to show you the two entry forms we have here. So, of course, they give us Geet's entry form, and obviously there's not a ton going on with this one. Uh, he does come with an open set of hands as well as a closed fist set of hands for holding items. Um, you have the same scarf, you have the same head, but now we have uh, black stickers for the eyes. So this was still painted red, and then I had to put the black compound stickers over for entry form. And then you really just have like this gray, that's stickers, uh, I believe that was painted down there. 
Again, stickers for the belt. Uh, you have the core ID and then the two halves that have nothing on there. That's all stickers. But yeah, pretty light on stickers for these, which is nice. Basic same articulation. I would say all these figures have the same articulation as uh, Boost Magnum, so I'm not going to go through it with every figure. But if you want to switch these around, so what we can do is let's go ahead and we will take Boost Magnum off of here. Now say we want to do uh, just Magnum, you can take this apart at the waist. And then you can just switch these out. It's very simple. Now the only thing is you're thinking to yourself, well now the, the driver doesn't work. They actually give you extra pieces here, which is really nice. So they give you one driver that's just boost. And they give you one driver that's just Magnum. Now they do give you uh, stickers for the core IDs. I chose to leave them off. Because I feel like if I want to switch these around with a lot of different characters, I'd rather just not have the core ID than have it constantly be the wrong one. Because they do give you, I think in this set they give you uh, core IDs for Geats and also for Tycoon. But I didn't want to, like, you know, basically uh, dedicate this to one driver or kind of lock myself in with one uh, rider. So I just left the core ID off. But basically you just pop off this driver... And then pop on the one that just has Magnum. And then there you go. You are all set. Now if you want to do... Um, now we have just Boost over here. So we can take this driver off. And put on the one that is just Boost. And there you go. And if for some reason you need to switch out the head. You can lift this section off. Just like that. So if you needed to switch that around. Now again, you have to kind of, the eyes won't always match. Obviously these eyes are for entry form. So if I would put this head on, you know, Magnum or somebody, they wouldn't match. So they try to give you different head options as well. So say for example, let's bring in Tycoon here. Now they did give us the hammer and the shield here, even though we don't have the armor pieces for these. I think the armor pieces are coming in ID4, I believe. But I think it was just kind of a situation where... Because these entry forms don't have a lot going on, they have a little bit of extra budget, and so they wanted to sneak the weapons in where they could, and this was just where they were going to be able to do it. Uh, hammer is just uh, Dongri's <laughs> hammer from Gaim, painted solidly in pink. Uh, and as you can see here, it's two separate pieces that peg into the two sides of the fist, and then you do have a little connection spot here. So if you want to take these out of his hand and not lose this super tiny handle piece uh, you can peg these on let's turn this sideways for simplicity and then we will peg this in here and this in over here and there you go now you have hammer and that's how it's held together when it's not being held by somebody shields very simple it just has this piece here that pegs into the back so that the character can hold it and then you can spin this around so if you want them to kind of hold it like this, or if you want them to be uh, straight up, or if you want them to hold it facing forward, you can pretty much accomplish any of those options with these two pieces. So this, of course, is Forza Shield. <laughs> this one's been around for a while, uh, but painted in solid blue here. So they just wanted to kind of sneak these in where they could, even though we do not have the forms uh, in any of this set. But here is uh, Tycoon here, and he's looking pretty much, or I should say he has the same articulation as the others, Head looks good. A couple of stickers there. I think the silver was all painted, but the green is all stickers. And then you have the little bit of silver around here. We have a driver with his core ID, and then he does have that sash around his thigh. But for the most part, he's looking the same as uh, Geet's entry form. But we can go ahead and do a similar thing, where if we take this off of here, and then just completely take this off, and then there you go. We can give him boost form for the legs now again we don't have the core id on there but like i said i didn't want to lock it into any specific rider but i think for the most part that looks pretty good we can also give him a magnum form if we so choose now what we would do is pop the head off here and then we would take this off and then we would have to pop this on here but switch out the driver so it can be a lot of little pieces to keep track of, but just switching a couple pieces, it's really just kind of 
you know, separating them at the waist and then popping on whatever driver is most applicable. And then we would pop. Now we could use this head, but they did include a second head that has the right colored eyes for Magnum. So that's pretty cool. I do appreciate that. So you can have the entry form head. You don't have to choose. You don't have to, you know, put choose between stickers. Because I always hate that. I hate when they give you one piece and then several different uh, sticker options because you can't possibly use all of them. So I do appreciate that they actually gave us two heads here. And so we will pop this head on. And then there we go. Oh, we want to take the scarf off. Because that's specific to Geats. Or it could just pop off the wrong piece. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Now we have Tycoon Magnum form. So I think that's really cool. I mean, it's a very uh, simple little swap. It's basically just swapping the torsos and the pants and then the helmets and then everything else and the drivers. So, uh, but yeah, it's really not too difficult to switch back and forth and you can make a bunch of different combinations. Uh, if we really wanted, we could do a Tycoon magnum boost now the only problem here we would have to use the driver piece that does have the geats core id because that was one solid piece uh, that was one solid sticker and he wouldn't have the green sash uh technically i guess if you wanted there is an extra set of magnum boost in this box as we saw earlier and you could put a sash around here but i don't know where you'd get the extra green sash because we only had one in the set so you'd have to get it from somewhere else um, I guess technically buy another box of these and then you could put the green sash. I'm fine with him just not having it, honestly. Um, you know, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty faithful. It just doesn't have the green sash. I can live without that. But yeah, looks pretty cool. So I think these are a lot of fun. I really enjoy being able to swap these around. I'm really happy that they gave us the extra pieces. Like the extra head and the extra drivers. I think that's a big deal. So I like this a lot. I think it's a little bit more successful than the Revolve Change figures. Only because since you can switch them around, it has way too many extra joints uh, in the legs. And it makes it hard for him to stand. But because this is kind of typical Soto joints, everyone stands really well. Plus you have these little stands to help them stand. So can't go wrong there either. Uh, and if you want, I'll put a link at the end of this video for my uh, Revolve change figure review for Magnum Boost. Let's go ahead and pop all of this back on. But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, ID2 because we're going to get even more entry forms and things. I'm going to have to spin this around so this is pointed to the back so he can actually peg in here. There we go. Unfortunately, the drivers do not fit into any of these spots. It would be really nice if the drivers could just store on the stand, but unfortunately they don't fit on either side. So that is a bummer. Uh, one minor nuisance. Let me put this... Oh, I think I put these on the wrong stand. I did. It's not a big deal, but the stickers do have the names. So <laughs> we'll line that all back up. Uh, but yeah, the gimmick works well. I was really interested to see how they were going to accomplish it in Soto. And I think it works really well. Like I said, it's not 100% perfect because the core IDs won't always match up. Uh, or if you could just leave the stickers off like I did. So that way it might not be complete, but it also won't be wrong. But yeah, they're a lot of fun. Definitely really excited for them. Definitely cannot wait for uh, Geet's ID2 because we're getting a lot more forms and um, a lot more entry forms so then we can do all kinds of crazy combinations. So it's just going to continue to add to that roster. And the more we get, the more combinations we're going to be able to do. So really liking these a lot so far. Moving on to the Revice half of ID1, we have Ultimate Revi and Ultimate Vice. Uh, they look fantastic, but wow, were they a lot of stickers. Although I really like the Ultimate Forms. I think they look really, really cool. I feel like the blue here is a little darker than it was on the show. I could be wrong about that. Maybe I'm just misremembering it. But still looks absolutely fantastic. Um, so many stickers, though, honestly. The way they did it, and it's actually really cool, you put the sticker on the head underneath the clear plastic, 
and then the clear plastic piece goes on top for both the head and the chest. And that came out really good. I think that really works. I like that effect a lot, uh, exactly how it looks on the show. Um, but you have an eye sticker underneath, and you plug the plastic piece in. You have a sticker here on the forehead, and then there's a sticker piece right here. Uh, both shoulders have wraparound stickers. These little pieces right here are stickers, and they are a pain to get on. Uh, a couple of stickers underneath the chest here. Uh, all these sections here is one big sticker on each side. Uh, you have stickers here on the side of the bicep, on the front of the bicep, on the side of the forearm, on the inside of the forearm, on top of the hands, uh, the belt going all the way around. Of course, the vice stamp and the driver are stickers. Um... The blue here is painted, but the pink that outlines it are two different stickers. Uh, there is a little bit of paint up here on the top of the thigh. Uh, this part here on the crotch is a sticker. This is actually all paint. This little bit here is a sticker, but all of this is paint. But then there's the feet. The feet were rough, uh, I gotta tell you. So there's a sticker here. Then a sticker for this little spot inside. And then each of these individual toes are stickers that wrap around. And I'm sure mine look a little messed up. Uh, I try not to look at them too closely. <laughs> I did what I could, but they were tough. They were a little a little rough to do. But honestly, for the most part, I think it looks great. I really like this form. The colors are really fun. And I think it came out well. And I was thinking about this. Unless they make a figure art, I think this is the only representation of this form at least right now. I don't think there are any other physical representations of this form that I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, the remix line died long ago, and I don't even think it would have made it to this. Um, so like I said, unless they make a, a figure art down the road, I think this is the only way to get a physical representation of the Ultimate Forms. If I'm wrong, please feel free to, to point it out in the comments. But these are really fun forms. I like these a lot. Like I said, all the same articulation as the other figures but just looks absolutely fantastic. And let's move on. Oh, I forgot to say they do come with a set of closed fists as well that also have stickers on them. Let's move on to Ultimate Vice. Very similar, honestly. Uh, he does have the tail, which is actually a completely clear piece. So be careful you don't lose it in the bag because I almost didn't spot it at first. Uh, but that's on a ball joint and that's just two big stickers on each side that kind of wrap around. Uh, which I think looks pretty good. Otherwise, it's almost the exact same body as Ultimate um, Revi. You know, the stickers are all the same, uh, except with the chest and eye stickers, and of course the Vi stamp is molded slightly differently because it's the other half of Gifford Rex. But all of the stickers on the shoulders, the arms, the legs, the feet, all pretty much exactly the same. Articulation's the same. The only added articulation he has is the ball joint in the tail, and then he also comes with the open set of hands. The open set of hands is actually pink painted onto clear plastic. And then you put a sticker on top of that. Whereas I believe the closed fists, are they? Yeah, they're actually blue painted pink. And then you put a sticker on top. So I don't know what the reasoning was behind that. But I assume it just has to do with the sprues and, and how they allocate the stuff. So, uh, but yeah, both of these look really good. I did mess up the leg a little bit for Vice. I don't know if you noticed. You may have. I, it, unfortunately, the sticker ripped when I was taking it off of the sticker sheet. But yeah, like I said, both of these look good. I really like these forms. I love the color schemes. And I like how they're basically the same. But wow, were they both a lot of stickers. <laughs> I would say they probably took me two hours each. Just with the amount of stickers that they had. It was a lot. It was a lot. Uh, moving on to Juga, the final one in this set. Kamen Rider Juga. Uh, he looks pretty great, honestly. I think they did a pretty good job. Uh, all of the, like, silver here on the legs is painted, which is nice. Uh, and then you have these, like, gold lightning kind of stickers here, which are really not too difficult to apply. The shoes, I thought, from the box were going to be a nightmare because I thought it was going to be... Uh, these really skinny gray stickers, but no, it's just one big sticker that just wraps around the whole foot. It honestly was not that bad. These individual uh, gold stickers here, then you have one for the back of the hands, the belt, of course, the driver. The head was definitely a couple of different stickers. I think one, two, three, four, and five. The mouth part was all painted, which was nice. Chest is all stickers. 
and the shoulders as well. But he looks good. I think they did a nice job with this. Same articulation as all the rest. We can take a closer look at his driver here, which looks pretty good. I really like the head. I think that worked really well. It almost looks like it has kind of a matte finish for the black paint on the head and the chest. You can kind of tell, like, if you look at the back where that's just, like, the black plastic, and then the chest is kind of... Let me move the arm out of the way. You can tell that that's kind of like a matte finish black paint, and then this is just the black plastic. But it worked really well. I think this is a really cool suit. I know it didn't last on the show very long. Spoilers, I guess. Sorry. Um, but I thought it was cool. Definitely glad it made it into the Soto line. I like it a lot. And I think this figure worked out really well. He comes with an open set of hands and a closed set of hands. He looks intimidating sticker-wise, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, these ones that kind of wrap around the shoulder were probably the most difficult. Um, this shoulder really wasn't too bad. The head wasn't even too bad. Yeah, even the chest wasn't too bad. So yeah, sticker's not too bad. But I think the, the form looks great. I think this really worked out. So very, very, very cool there. It's a great set, honestly. I'm really happy with this set. Um, definitely took a while, but it was a lot of fun, and I'm happy to kind of wrap up Revice here. I know I didn't get to all the Revice Soto sets one day. Hopefully I will. Um, but I really do like these forms, so I was glad that kind of got them and got to them and got them done. But the Geet stuff is a lot of fun. I think that's going to be really fun. Uh, Soto has found a way to make the gimmick work really well with just a couple of quick, easy swaps, really just the helmet, the driver, and then whatever torso and pants you want to mix match. Um, yeah, works really well. They look great. Definitely cannot wait to get more of them. Uh, and I don't have to wait long. Uh, Geet's ID2 is coming out on Halloween, I believe. So the very end of this month, about 10 days, 8 days, something like that, uh, from the time of recording this video. So pretty cool. Definitely excited for more of those. Definitely ready to make some more combinations. I know we have uh, Buffas in that wave and um, Tycoon Ninja Form, I think, is in that wave. There's going to be a lot of good stuff. So definitely plenty of combinations to be had. But yeah, this is definitely a great set. Definitely recommend picking it up. Uh, even if you don't care that much about the Revice stuff, you know, get in for the Geet stuff because that's going to be a lot of fun. But I really enjoy these three, honestly. I really like these forms, and like I said, I think it's the only physical representation of these forms right now. So if you like these suits, definitely go on to grab these. A lot of stickers, takes a while, but it's worth it when you're done because they really do look fantastic. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.